Here you can see our entry for the WIS 2011 Student Inno Innovation Contest. And what you see here is our interface inspired by biology. So what we have here is a little snail and the user can control the antennas of the snail with the eyes at the end so we can see the world by moving around the antennas and uh, we can explore the world by moving around with our snail and so now we can look for food let's see uh, there's a little strawberry and so let's eat that and let's see if we can find any further food um, oh there's a little banana let's eat that as well and so we gather the food uh, the main idea of this project is it shows um, uh, how how the snail's uh, sensory system is different from the humans uh, snails have uh, eyes at the end of their antennas and they move the antennas around to explore the world we also we're, we're looking at a combined input and output device. What you can see here is we're using a little Pico projector to project the snail's view. And then we're using this uh, Microsoft Touch Mouse here with the multi-touch sensor on top as a combined device uh, for input. So we have like input and output in one device. And what's, uh, what's neat about it in a way is we're, we're using uh, both the touch sensor and the mouse movement uh, simultaneously. So we're kind of using this little toy to, to explore this simultaneous input-output space. So I hope you like our little demonstration. This is uh, from the team at the MIT Media Lab and uh, we're uh, Daniel Leitinger and David Lakatosh and Linning Yao and Anthony De Vincenzi. Thank you.